What's up guys? Sean here from SRK Cycles. And uh this is moto uh, it's not really it's kind of moto stories, not really moto stories. It's not really a specific story that I have. I just want to tell you guys how to I just saw a cop pass by, that's why I came up with this idea. How to get pulled over by the cops while you're riding a motorcycle. Now My grandfather was captain of the state police. And uh, I can assure you, they gave us, they gave his family, his kids, and his grandkids zero um, tolerance for doing anything illegal. They would go out of their way to pull over his kids. My, my, grandpa, my grandfather, when my dad was a kid, my grandfather told him, he's like, don't give my kids any leeway with anything. And that's, a lot of times, that's how it is. But, I've been pulled over many times. What a lot of people don't get is that 99.9% .9 of the time, no one's out to get you. And listen, I'm not getting into the whole black, black, white thing, all right? I'm a, I'm, I'm a white guy. <clears throat> but you know what? When I'm riding a bike, or when you're riding a bike, when you got full gear on, and you got a full face helmet, and there's not an inch of skin showing, and you got a tinted visor, hey, we're all the same color at that point of time. And for most, for most of the times, that color is, bam, going too fast on a motorcycle, that color is, just, that color is speed. But, <clears throat> side note, these people, police officers are regular people. They just got a job like you and me. <clears throat> Their job is to uphold the law. So, when they see someone speeding, hey, their job is to pull you over. <clears throat> That's just life. If you're with like 20 people speeding and they pull one person over, they couldn't pull everybody over. I've been in that situation that's just life. You can't pull everyone over. So you, hey, you got the one guy. Good. That sucks. It was you, you know. But they're regular people. And if you treat them like regular people, they're going to treat you like regular people. Most likely his day didn't start bad. But maybe it did. But if he comes up to your car or comes up to your bike and asks you a question, you're like, what the F do you want? You know, and you're mean to him. Hey, that's his... You just opened up his... He just... Now he's on the offense. You know? Like, now he's like, whoa, what's going on here? And these guys, they risk their lives. There's a reason they carry guns. Because people try... People want to... Some people want to hurt them. There are bad people out there. They don't know if you're a bad guy or a good guy. So why don't you show them you're a good guy by being nice to them? Hey, officer, you got me speeding? You know, hey, I, I was speeding, I'm sorry. I was, you know, you, you got me. 160 in a 35. Shouldn't have been doing it. You, you know, like, you don't have to get mad at them. And if they give you a ticket, hey, they give you a ticket. They got you. That's life. I'm sure you spent a million other times and didn't get busted. They got you. So, just be polite. Have your information out for them. One time, I was I was pulled over. I was working for a car dealership, and we ride. We put car dealer tags on the on the cars. And every once in a while, you forget to put a tag on the car, and you get home and you realize, oh, I don't have a tag on my car. But you made it without getting pulled over. Well, I'm driving this like. 98 blazer with rims on it and it just looked like a suspicious vehicle and I get pulled over and the, the police officer walks up and he's like you know he says I don't have a tag on it it looks like a stolen car I know that he knows that <laughs> who are we kidding you know so he comes up and he's like hey you don't have tags on your car and I'm like oh no are you are you serious? I'm like, okay, two things either happen. I won, I work at a dealership. That's background. I work at a dealership. Either one, 
I didn't put one on there when I left. Two, it fell off. Three, someone took it. Three things that are happening. And he's like, all right, let me, let me call this in, blah, blah, blah. There's no connection. There's no way to connect that car to me. The only, the only possible solution he has is to connect me to the dealership to prove that my story's right. So we jumped on the phone. We called my boss. My boss was like, yes, I had someone come out and bring me a dealer tag. I drove away. It was a kind of a crazy situation, but if I was acting all crazy and, why well, you pull me over, man, you know what I mean? Hey, I was driving a car with no tags on it. That looks shady. There was another time where I bought a car, I bought a 2000, no, 1993 Ford Festiva. And I used to buy cars from Pennsylvania and then take them down to Georgia because you didn't need an inspection down there. So I'd buy cars I couldn't get inspected because they weren't safe and I'd drive them down to Georgia. And so I buy this car from this guy who's like, this guy was a hippie. <clears throat> Dreads, you know what I mean? The whole deal. I buy this car from this guy and then on the way home from, <clears throat> on the way home from buying this car, I got pulled over. And, you know, I don't know why. And the police officer's like, can I, ins can I inspect your vehicle? Now, this was a long time ago. This was a couple years ago. I don't know if I would have done the same thing uh, now. But the officer was like, can I inspect your vehicle? And I was like, yeah, sure. But, but I was like, but, but just so you know, just so you know, I just bought this vehicle. I just bought it from a guy who was definitely a hippie. He looked like a hippie. And at the time, I'm also going to a Bible college, you know? So I, pr I probably made the mistake of letting him look at the car. Because I don't know if someone left something in there. But I was nice, he looked in there. I was, but the biggest thing was, I was nice to the guy. He was a, he was a cool guy. I, I have not, actually, I've only, I've only had one instance with a police officer where I was like, that guy's a jerk. Let me tell you about that story. So, I'm driving to work. I work for a company that built that built bicycles for um, for Walmart. So you, it was a subcontractor deal. You'd go to Walmart and you would put these bicycles together, and you got paid per bike. So I could put like 30 bikes together one night, and then I got paid per bike, and I go to all these different WalMarts. Well, I was working at a Walmart really close to my house. I'm driving my truck. Just so happens the ex a little S10, the exhaust fell off. It's a piece of junk truck. The exhaust fell off. I work um, uh, two miles away from where I lived. I'm driving to work. My thing sounds like an airplane. An officer pulls me over. He's like, listen, your car is way too loud. There's something wrong with it. Here's a citation. You, you know, citation's a ticket. You gotta get this fixed. ASAP. I'm like, okay, I'm driving to work. I'll get it fixed as soon as I can. I go to work, I'm about, I'm about to leave at like 11 o'clock at night. I get, I, I'm about to leave and I see a police officer kind of driving around in the parking lot. And I'm like, whoa, what's going on here? I, I still had the ticket. I still had the ticket in my hand for when I got pulled over. So I, I get in my car, I don't see the police officer, Another, it was a different police officer. I don't see him anymore. I get in my car, I go to drive home, and a police officer, sure enough, pulls me over, and I'm like, hey, how's it going? Uh, and I was like, listen, I just got pulled over on the way to work, here is my ticket. He looks at it, he's like, I don't care. You cannot be, there's something wrong with this car, you cannot be driving this car on the road. I'm like, what was I supposed to do? You, I got pulled over on the way to work. Now I'm leaving work. This off... I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm going home. He's like, no. Park it. Park the car. Now, I think at this point, it's like 11 o'clock at night. No, 12 o'clock at night. He's like, park the car. You're not driving this home. And I'm like, you're kidding me. How am I supposed to get home? 
My cell phone's dead. I can't call. It's 12 o'clock. Who am I going to call? Ghostbusters. My cell phone's dead. It's, 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 it was nice outside. It was summertime. That was cool. And the officer makes me park the car. He's like, if you drive this thing home, you're going to go to jail. And then he sits his, he, he parks right across the street from me and just watches me. He could have at least drove me home. Me, and so I had to walk home. I had to walk like two miles home. It, it was just so dumb. And then I had, to, I had to get the car towed. The guy was just total jerk. <clears throat> hey, you know what? Nothing I could do about it. But that's life. All right, guys. That's Moto Stories. We'll see you guys later. Subscribe.